everybody, and welcome to episode number 20 on the Board Game Man channel. My name is Jamie Cloninger. Today we're going to go back to 1958. I remember my grandparents had this game, but I was so young, they'd go, Oh no, honey, we don't want you to play with that. No, it's okay. And I was always fascinated by it, but never got to play it. I literally found this yesterday uh, on Facebook Marketplace for $5. It was complete. Not that there's too many components to it. Just four marbles and a little tilt score. But it is called King of the Hill. So let me go to the gamers table. I'm going to show you how to play this cool game. All right, we're at the gamers table. And here is the actual hill. And I'll tilt it up so you can see it all. You can see where all the places are where you're going up and around the hill. You start from here, you go up, you go up this way, you go up this way, you make a right, and you go up around the hill. And the first one to the crown, to make it pop up, wins the game. So you can see inside, there's a little clip. And what you do is when you first start the game, you push down, you turn it, and you hook it on that little, on that little clip that's inside. And that's how you uh, get that to stay down. Now, you, let's go ahead and set this down. And here are your tokens, where actually they're little marbles. And there's four of them, so you have up to four players to play the game. What you first do is you choose a corner where you want to start at. All right, so I'll just put all four down here. Just, Oops, ah! Oh, there goes the crown. <laughs> I inadvertently knocked the crown off the thing. There we go. Okay. So what you do is you'll notice that there is no dice. There is no spinner. The really cool contraption this comes with is a tilt score. T-I-L-T-S-C-O-R-E. Tilt score. And you'll see the little ball inside. So what you do is your movement is you'll have it down here. Let me push this back a little bit so you can see it. There we go. And how you determine how many spaces you go, you actually tilt it back and the ball goes down. And whatever number it lands on, that is your movement. So you can see up close here, if we can not get a glare in there, see all the little numbers on the bottom. So when you tilt it, it'll go like this, tilt it down, it falls right in there. And then right there you see it's a four. So it's pretty darn cool how they did this. So what you do is you'll make your way up the mountain. We'll say the first one we got is a three, so you'll go one, two, three, and so on. As soon as you make it to the one side here, you go up to the next level, and you'll make your way to the back part of the mountain. And as soon as you make it beyond that pit, you'll go here, and then what you do is you go around to the right. And you make your way around that way. If you do fall into a pit, which you can see there, that's the little holes that you see along the way. If you fall into a pit, you'll come out in one of the three caves. You'll either come out here, come out here. I'm sorry, there's four caves. One here, one here, one here, or one over here. So, and it was, what's cool is that even if you're in the same spot, it won't go in the same spot. So that one will go there, and then if you fall in a different time, see it comes out here. So it doesn't always come out the same spot come down here and so on so there's four different caves it'll drop you and then you got to start again from there if you land in one of the pits there is the one rule that if you're on a spot and say another token comes up and lands on the same spot that you do all you do is go back one space so you don't knock that player back to home you actually just go back one space and that's how you handle that rule when you land on an opponent's exact space and like I say as soon as you make the first person who makes it to the crown Pops the crown up, and that's when you become the winner. And there you have it, King of the Hill from 1958. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down below. And if you'd like to be notified of future episodes when they upload, all you have to do is click on the subscribe button and the bell, and you'll be notified as soon as the next episode uploads. And until then, thank you so very much once again, and happy gaming!